Meet Nasa Lynx. He's a photographer, a wildlife adventurer, a grateful harvester of Mother Earth, and a legendary spear fisherman. He explores the ocean where he encounters some of Jamaica's most vicious predators while he captures breathtaking underwater footages and forages for food in order to survive. He cooks up a storm and produces mouth-watering dishes that will make you lick your finger. Welcome to Original Living with Nasa Lynx. It's been a while since I've been in the water, so I teamed up with Canada and we went back to one of our favorite locations. This spot is not a beach, but preferably a rock side where they cut a road to gain access down to the sea. It was very early, so the sea was flat and the wind was low. So we get ourselves together before the weather changes on us. Kenada was planning to do some chumming, so he bring some cut up conk with him. We tried it the last time and some barracuda came in close to us, so hopefully this time. We didn't enter from the rock side, we walked one next area, which is closer to the reef, so we can reach our destination a little bit quicker. Yeah, so at this spot where we are going to dive off from, you know. No sun, no. No sun, back at the tree. So, we we'll jump off from right here. So, we we'll get the thing in the van. You know, the foot on and everything already. Put on the rest of the gear. So, you know. Then, all the way, and the spear fisherman there are out in the water as well. So, we'll see what we want to know. Hopefully, we can find some this man. But the morning was lovely, the sky was blue, so the expectation was high. We didn't have any target species. The main species of fish that we're planning to hunt are barracudas, snappers, jacks, and any other else good fish that we can get. So we set our spear guns and the two of us head off onto the hunt. So in the meantime I want you guys to take the moment and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. The water was okay, but on the outside it was a little bit murky. It was a lovely school of surgeon fish. That's the other diver there, motionless. He seems as he was lay waiting something. So me and Kenado head over to the deep. Here's a lovely jack.
that one swim away from me. So I grunt, so I hedge around the rock to sneak down on it. It saw me and start to move back to the rock. So I took a shot, I didn't hit it. And you guys can see the water visibility. It is poor. The air cannot start to do some chumming. So here we spear a lovely barracuda. That one came in because of a CD. He saw the flashing. So I rush over to get a second shot. Yo! Only one. Only one. I was checking if there was any more, but he said only the one. But I saw that he speared this one good. Spear right through the gill. So I speared right through the gill again. My spear went right through. So time to secure this one quickly because we're in some open waters now and anything is possible here. be real careful with this fish try to get it by the gill so there we got it on the buoy now <laughs> So it's time to get back to the hunt. It's a little blue runner. I made a deep jack there off of some jacks. Big one dog there. Yo, big one in there. Big one in high school. Here's a lovely jack. was a few so the Canada is trying to spear one as well they all led down to the deep so he didn't get a shot
water was very busy. Lots of fish was on the move. That's a jack. That one was moving too fast. Here I saw a little barracuda on the bottom in about 50 feet of water but when I got close to it I realized that it is too small so I head back to the top Canado went to check it out as well and he left it as well and head back up decide not to take it so I swim off a little and I saw next little one make after hit this one was bigger it swim away from me so I make a second attempt but I was running out of breath so I have to head back to the top so we watched it and it head back to the shallow so Kenado made a drop on it this time the area speared it and it run off and somehow the shooting line broke so the barracuda run off to the deep with the spear Luckily, some scuba divers was in the area. So we asked them if they could help us to retrieve back the spear. I swim out a little bit and I saw the barracuda and the spear on the bottom. Here are the scuba divers coming in. So I'm directing them to the Barracuda. And that depth is out of the two of us diving limit. That depth is close to a hundred feet or probably more. So one of the scuba divers went out and Kenada lens down my spear gun on the chat line. We have to connect the two chat line in order for the spear gun to reach the bottom. And the scuba diver get the spear gun some more he fired the spear gun and missed the barracuda but luckily he did have a pole spear so he speared the barracuda with the pole spear I 
and head back to the shallow with it. Where we can dive down and collect it from him. And these waters are very deep. Uh, this is a shallow to us and that thing. And you guys can see the time that we took to reach to the bottom. Your Kenado is collecting the barracuda and getting him off the pole spear. So we give these scuba divers very special thanks. Because Kenado get back his spear and we also get the barracuda with it. So we string up the barracuda with the next one and head back to the hunt. Here I saw a lovely school of jocks. Made the job on them. They wasn't in any rush. So I tried to pick out one of the big one. Don't know what happened there. Didn't hit one. still hanging out on the bottom so I make a second attempt but they all fled this time so here is a little barracuda well confident with this one him to realize that the chat line got stuck on the next chat line up there and can have the chat line and the barracudas that on it was making it heavy to to dive down with so I have to stop and head back to the top but the barracuda was down there still so Kenado made a jump on it as well and because we were so close the chat line kept tangling together same thing with Canada you have to lift the barracuda as well he couldn't get any closer so I head off a little more so our next little barra had a jump on it, saw me, start to swim off to the deep. Feeling satisfied with what we caught, we head out of the water. The two of us out of the water. And, uh, the dive was have a lovely day today in the sea. We enjoyed the dive so far. Yes, we find two barracudas and a few jacks and you know. We we'll give thanks to the, the, the boatman, the diver, the, the, the scuba diver, the very good out there. Because we are looking at the spear, we are going to run off this spear for part of the spear. So we we'll give thanks to them, they will be retrieved by the spear. Two of us are out as we say. We are going to do some clean up here now and uh, we are going to weigh up the fish. Them. We are going to weigh the two barracudas. See the cone weight, because we like to do that. And then just to, you know. You know when and when we catch them on our side, you know? So, this is the catch. Yeah. Yeah, so a few jack. 5,000 back there. Yeah. And two lovely barracudas. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, that didn't sell. I woke up like two of them to get up. You know, check the weights. I'm going to grab you checking the weights first already. And I'm going to fish. You know, I just said the big one weigh about 12. And um, that's about 6. 6 is small. We are going to see. We are going to see. Come, we are going to see. Generally, I saw about 6. Almost left. 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 Almost Next one we are four and a half. No way you know. They're only big for nothing for two. <laughs> so we are gonna clean them up here now. You know how to start the clean up process already. Yeah. Yeah, man. We are gonna scale and go up them out. All the fish that get caught today, you know. Yes, yes, guys. So I do that. Man. I do that, man, you know. Man, it was a lovely day today, you know. I'm still fishing. You uh, see, come up back well, choppy choppy, you know. Good this morning. The air felt nice. Current of the hook. 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 Current of the the area is lovely. So we don't know how to go the hook. Current of the the hook. Current of the the Stay tuned, same way. I'm going to cook this. I don't know how to cook it. I'm going to cook this. I don't know how to cook it. I'm going 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 to
So I'm home now and this is what I have for myself out of the small barracuda. Kenara gone with the big one. Yeah man and me control the small one and um me actually give it almost three quarter. We just have a head here and a little piece of the head from the head to a little piece. So I'm gonna cook this little piece, no one more on this you know. And um rest down the head for boil soup on next day. Yeah man, so love to use boiled boil soup, you know, nice soup it boil so I just want to look like a fry and cook long simply. Nothing, nothing. Uh, so I need a little white rice or a little, you know, Jamaican style. So, yeah, man, so stay tuned. I'm gonna get the thing ready. Get the, the, the fish season up and head to the pot. So, stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead and alright. So, here we go. Some seasoning on this now. Yeah, man, some regular seasoning. Yeah, just some jerk seasoning. Yeah man, and other things like scallion and thyme and honey and, and them things there. I have some more cocoa to be light. Tomatoes, garlic, you know. Yeah man, so I'm going to fry the barracuda separately. Yeah, you know the thing and then we cook it down back with the other stuff then. So I'm going to the oil you know. Light up on the aisle. And that's enough for the cheap piece of barrel, you know. And let the aisle hot you know, we're not putting a pepper in this in a height this time, you know. It's uh, just a uh, simple thing. So just make the aisle hot regularly and just add the fish. So see what I go on you now. Finish up, you know. I mean like the 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 the, the gravy, you know. Yeah man. Smell good too, you know man. Smell very good, you know. Three slice of barrel, you know. Yes man, so I'm gonna share it out on the plate, you know. Okay, so here we go, you know. Piece of barra here on them. Here we we'll cook up with it and the rice around there. Yes, man. so this is it now, guys. Don't think uh, we'll be doing a next piece of clip. I'm on a tired bad. So, so you know, it go, guys, as always. Please consider and subscribe to the channel because it's all on the channel, alright. 
go enjoy yourself when you watch the video them cool. Got them enjoyful so yeah man next time then see you.